All right, guys, so now let's talk about strengthening. And when we're talking about strengthening for the shoulder, we're going to break that up into two parts. Rotator cuff, which we're going to do in just a minute. But right now, we're going to talk about the muscles that stabilize the scapula and your shoulder when you're moving. All right, so Paul's going to demonstrate a couple of those for us. Again, we're going to use the rig and bands to demonstrate these. So the first one is going to be face pulls. Um, so he's going to grab that band. It's going to be about eye height. It's going to take a step back, so there's nice tension in there. And allow those shoulders to protract forward, meaning he's here, not here, when he's starting. He's going to keep those shoulders down. He's not going to use his traps. He's going to use his rhomboids in through here. And he's going to pull right to his eyes. And then back up. Okay. So pulling there, and everything's happening between the shoulder blades. So you'll know if you're doing it right as you pull back and you feel those shoulder blades squeezing together, almost like you're going to try to hold a pencil with them. Okay. He'll do that for about uh, three sets of 10 to 12 to 15 reps, depending on where you're at, where your strength's at. Um, next, you're going to come over and... Uh, we're going to use bands with handles. Um, he's going to grab these bands. Anytime you have the bands with handles on the rig, you want to try to cross them. He's going to hold them in opposite hands. Again, he's going to take a step back so that he's got some tension in the beginning. And he's just going to row straight back. Again, keeping those shoulders down, those traps deactivated, and using those rhomboids to pull. He's going to hold for two seconds, and again, repeat eight to 10 times. The next one, arms are going to be straight up, and he's going to pull straight back and do a reverse fly. Again, squeezing those shoulder blades together, holding each rep for about two seconds, doing eight to 10 reps. And then the next one, he's gonna hit the lats. He's gonna take, bring those arms straight down, squeeze those shoulder blades together, the bottom, and then come all the way back up, okay? For the last one, we're gonna drop these down to a lower position, right about knee height is good. I'm gonna hold that position there, keep those crossed, and we're gonna combine the first one we did, which is the row, you're going to pull those arms straight back, and then you just going to rotate up and get that rotator cuff engaged. Pause for two seconds, rotate back down, and then up. Okay? And make sure you're doing it in that four steps. One, two, 